you know, I'll pray that I'm good enough to be taken in it because I will not worship the Antichrist. I, I'm sure that they would have to kill me because I will not give up Christ. I, I know what the Antichrist is, and I'm just not, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's something that, you know, inevitably um, we will all come to know, you know. I mean, that's that's the whole beauty of the whole thing is that, you know, we will have a spiritual knowing of it. You know, we will be able to see, you know, I just I just hope for mankind that, you know, I know myself, I'm perfectly safe. I don't wonder or question, you know, anything. Well, I know that I'm not misled, you know, and to have a good, strong foundation in him. And I don't, I don't worry about it, you know, but I, I hope that, you know, for the majority of society that they can actually come to a day where they can wake up and see before it's too late, even though I know, you know, that it would, it's not ever going to happen. You know, for if, it, if it was going to happen, you know, then prophecy would be inaccurate and um, showing the forsaken inevitable destruction of mankind through themselves. Yeah, we can't change. We can't change prophecy. You know. No. And we. My. I know my my perpetrators are really very arrogant. You know, we're going to make Christ come again. I hear a lot. You know, nothing they do will uh, prompt Christ to appear. Christ will appear when his time is ready for him to appear, and when he wants to appear, in, in accordance with his Father's wishes. No devil worshiper is going to push Christ to appear. They're not going to make this go any faster than it's supposed to. They have no control. The funny thing about these organized stalkers and these people who develop this technology is they think they have ultimate control. They don't. They can't control Lucifer. Then they can't control God. You know, Lucifer is only using them. They're foot soldiers. They're the people who do the dirty work. They're the people that if a nuclear bomb goes off here, or where they live, are going to get hit because he's not going to save them. They're not important. And they're so stupid, they don't even realize that they're being used. If they were so important, they wouldn't be the ones running around in the bushes. They wouldn't be the ones up at night reading scripts of what to say to us, you know, through projection of these voices. They would be, you know, at the top, and they're not. So I think Satan has a few very stupid people at the bottom. I know my perpetrators are ridiculous you know, and just even listen to them and their stupidity of the situation, they always feel that they have control. And then, like I said, at the end of every six, seven hours when I wake up and they realize that I go on with my day and I still live in God, or I say to them, you know, you, you lost again, they're angry. But every night they come back thinking that they still have control. And sure. they, you know? they don't. They may over some people. They may have tricked some people. But I, I think if some people knew they were being tricked, you know, they wake up and say, hey, you don't have control over me either. They try to have ultimate control over our lives. And I just feel these people are out of control because if you have control over your own life, you don't seek to control other people. Yeah, you know, and, and especially your, your brain does not try to convince your stomach that it's full. And your stomach does not try to convince your brain that it's full. It just is. It just you know, is. And, yes, exactly. And if these people were successful, Gina, they wouldn't spend 24 hours a day trying to convince us that they're successful. <laughs> You're right. You're right. And your car does not try to convince you that it started. It just it, it just moves down the road. You know. I mean, it, it just happens. Things just yeah. happen. It just is. Exactly. It works or it doesn't. And it, you're right. If these people were successful and accepted in society, you know, they wouldn't be doing this. There, yeah, there's exactly. some level, they were rejected somewhere. They followed Satan at an early age. I don't know what happened to these people. But I know um, Satan is a, is a, is a big, um, what I want to say, a big murder or a, a so, what are we, what's the word I'm looking for, James? A mascot for them. You know, he, he is he's the dark lord, you know. And he's going to give us what we want when he comes. And you know what? He's never going to give them what they want. Yeah, They're never going to yeah. have anything but what they have today. Misery, death, and destruction. Because when the time comes, he won't even know them. You'll be, see, I got what I wanted. Thanks for being stupid. You pushed me to the top. You helped me. 
I don't need you. I can't be seen with you because I'm the leader of the United Nations or I'm the president of the European Union or, or whatever it's going to be, the president of the world. I can't be seen with you. You know, these people are ridiculous. Yeah, most definitely, you know. I mean, and you want to see yet another ignorant application of mankind, you know, is when they believe that Lucifer is the Lord, is, is the dark Lord. If you were to research and study Luciferians, you know, you'll come to find that the word Lucifer is of lucence. The, the parallel of the word lucence is that they're of a bright light. Uh, Lucifer, when, you know, the Father had said to let there be light, you know, what had come, ab what had come abroad was a little bit more than what, you know, people can comprehend. They think the sun, they think a light bulb, they think something of, uh, you know, because if you pay attention in the book of Genesis, what's being literated is that there is one mass creator, and he is showing out his angelic abilities, which are angels, to do what he has asked them to do. To let there come light, Lucifer was, was there in a partaking of creation. And Lucifer is of Lucent, the most powerful, the most beautiful ruling angel of all. His fall was through his own ignorance, for he had literally gone of himself and tried to do what God the Father had done. And that would be the, the paradox in the creation of a, of a perfect man, which was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was the, was the, the production of, of the Father, you know. I mean, so inevitably, out of ignorance, we will try to go and do the same. Then that's what had happened in the garden. And now we will, you know, inevitably, you know, that's the one thing that's beautiful about the whole thing, yet again, Gina, is consistency. Inevitably, you know, cancer is productive because of its inability to change. It stays the same and it destroys because of its productivity. The same with, you know, the um, manufacturing of a car. The reason why we're able to build 15,000 cars in one year, which is a ridiculous amount of cars, that's a lot of cars, is because of the repetitive processorial steps that is needed to create that one car. You know, the same, the same logical, you know, the same connective logic applies to mankind. And, I mean, it, it's about processorial steps. The whole thing is about processorial steps of effectiveness. You know, the effectiveness of something is, is, you know, the success is given through its inability of change. It doesn't change. That's why it's effective. And sure enough, we have it for what it was there of the spirit, now is of the flesh. It is a manifestation just like what is written. You know, I mean, and there's no question that now these days that we can see the technology, we can see Blue Bean, the development of it, we can see the horrible raping filth of mankind, the same as we can see the horrible filthy rape of Satan, Luciferians, and their, their angelic properties and their abilities. You know, I mean, they can create in a parallel just like, you know, our, our creator can also. You know, he needs man to do it through, but without a doubt, he can do it. You know, and he has been effective, you know, thus far. You know, where the, the most powerful cure in the world is the smallest pill. You know, the most difficult things are easily achieved. And this is, this is, this blue being, this whole satanic application, Gina, is so easily conquered. And it's, it's easily conquered with truth. Well, James, I appreciate you coming out and giving us more information. We're going to end because we're out of time. Is there anything you'd like the listeners to know? Um, yeah, definitely, you know, in the meandering, wondering through life, you know, to keep your eyes wide open, not wide shut, you know, and, and understand that there is a way of, of success through this, and it is, you know, there that through what you know of you, you know, um, research, <laughs> research is the key, knowledge is the key to, you know, the graduation of life, and if we don't seek the knowledge effectively, there will be no graduation day of life for us. Okay, James, thank you very much again for coming forward and talking about this with us, you know, and talking about organized stalking, I know you are a victim and I'm a victim and it takes a lot of courage so I just want to thank you for coming on the show 
Well, thank you for having me, Gina. I appreciate it. You're welcome, James. And we'll talk to you again soon. All righty. All right. Bye. Bye.